Chances are you've experienced one of the many common foot problems that come from overuse or injury. Fortunately, podiatrists are the superheroes in this area, offering comprehensive care for any foot or ankle problem. In this episode, meet Woodlawn's newest podiatrist, podiatric surgeon Dr. Eric Rindlisbacher. We'll hear about his journey into podiatry, what motivates him to improve patients' lives, and what keeps him on his toes. This is Woodlawn Health Doc Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health. I'm Amanda Wild. Dr. Rindlisbacher, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Amanda. Good to be here. And welcome to Woodlawn. You were born in Alaska, and you have made your way sort of across the country through your medical career. When did you first know that medicine would be your career path? I actually have a picture of when I was really young. My dad was a podiatrist up in Alaska, and when he was training in Illinois, I have a picture of being in his hat and gloves, and my mom would tell me, that I'd walk around the house and tell everyone I wanted to be a bandager, wanted to bandage people up and be a doctor. So I think it's been there for a long time. Sounds like it might be in your genes. Yeah, it could be. (laughs) So I'll skip the question about why you chose podiatry, because that was always sort of your focus, it sounds like. It was. I wanted to do something in medicine, but podiatry really was exactly what I wanted. It had a lot of the patient interaction but I also was able to do a lot of procedures and surgery, which is also what I wanted. So it was kind of the best of both worlds that you don't find in a lot of other medical careers. Yeah, I'm really struck by the broad range of care that you provide in this position. Everything from something minor on your foot like a corn compared to something major like orthopedic surgery. That's one of the things that always kind of drew me in to any job is just variety. Never knowing exactly what you're going to get day to day, always something new. And I definitely found that with podiatry. It's like you say, you can be doing something very minor, which provides a lot of relief for a patient, or you can be doing something major in urgent or emergent situation. And it's just wonderful. Now you have done a lot of schooling to get where you are in your field not all podiatrists or surgeons like you are. What led you to Woodlawn? Why did you choose to come to Woodlawn? So I did my medical school out in Iowa, and then I did a residency, a surgical residency program. And at that time, podiatric surgical residency programs came in two varieties. You could be trained just to do the front of the foot, kind of they call it forefoot surgery or rear foot trained. And I was trained in both. So I did a three-year surgical residency in Mishawaka, Indiana. That's about an hour north of Rochester near Woodlawn. And really, I just spent about nine years there training residents, 10 years almost training residents and working at the same hospital that I trained at. And it was just time for a change. And I had looked around and made a phone call after I had heard some good things about Woodlawn and just met with the people there and have kind of fallen in love with the culture that Woodlawn has, just wanting to care for people. What are you looking forward to in this new position? At the time we're talking, you're about to start this new position with Woodlawn. What are you looking forward to in that role? I'm looking to be able to provide that broad range of care to, honestly, a population I think that has been a touch underserved in that area for a period of time. It's a a much more rural location, and I think that they could use more access to the type of care that I can provide. So that's what I'm looking to try to do. That's excellent. And before we go, I'd really like to ask what you do once you've taken your white coat off. What do you like to do in your free time? People like to know their doctors are well-rounded human beings, I think. Yeah. So one of my favorite things in the world is fishing. Uh, I grew up in Alaska, so of course that's part of it. So I fish. I have four wonderful kids and they keep me very busy as soon as I get home, you know, soccer practices, doing those things. So spending time with family, spending time outdoors, hiking, fishing, just whatever I can do. And I also road bike pretty much weekly. I love it. So those are the things that I do, you know, when I have some free time. So somewhat of a good life work balance. Do any of your kids dress up as a podiatrist like you did with your dad? No, they're, they're probably a little smarter than me. They don't. 
<laughs> but you never know what may happen. So we're going to check in with you in another decade or two about what they're doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. But until then, welcome to Woodlawn and thanks for keeping your patients mobile. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dr. Eric Rinlisbacher is a podiatrist and podiatric surgeon with Woodlawn Health. For more information, please visit woodlawnhospital.org. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it on your social media. Thanks for listening to Woodlawn Health Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health.